Good day, it is Steven Davids here. And in this video, I want to help someone who is more or less in the same position as me and to ask the question, when can I legally use my firearm to defend myself? I searched the inter internet and it is a little bit confusing in terms of the South African definition of self-defense. If I looked at an article in, on Netwerk dated the 29th of July, here's an interesting part which, that it says, the use of legal force when acting in self-defense is often a complicated matter, says John Wells, an advocate and president of the South African Gun Owners Association. So if it is a complicated matter, and what he then further say is, the legal position is quite clear, but many people find it difficult to apply the law to the facts. When they go further, there is not a really a clear, nice, crisp guide for me as a lay person. Especially when he says this area here, it's difficult to apply that to a real life situation because these things often happen within split seconds. So he is correct, but it still leaves me as a lay person in the dark. If I go to another section, another article, they define defense here, self-defense here. And they have then a lot of uh, ways how they elaborate it and exceeding the self, limits of self-defense. These are nice and good, but it's not really crisp, easy for me to grasp. If you look at the uh, article of Mnet, then they say uh, self-defense and your rights. And they say it is really straightforward, the legal uh, definition of it. But... Um, if you see it in practice, it's not so simple. When it comes to our cause, there are many more factors taken into account in order to declare an act of self-defense as legal. So, definition is there, but what must you do? Very quick and easy. For me, personally, to understand and grasp in a crisp way this African law of self-defense, and I must reiterate, it is, I'm not a lawyer, is the American duty to retreat doctrine. And the duty to retreat doctrine, you can read up on, in the, on the internet, is where you are basically obliged to retreat. And if you look at this, you will see that South Africa is not the only country that has it. But in the United States of America, I think there are 12 to 13 countries that has this doctrine. And then it, where people often come and moan and complain about South Africa, it will help you to, well, our country just follows one of a group of people. And if you go and look at, at this doctrine where you de-escalate it and everything, there's five easy principles. And the principles are basically uh, innocence, imminence, avoidance, reasonableness, and proportionality. These five principles, innocence, you, know, you must look if you must not come and start a fight, etc. You must be a victim avoidance. You must try to de-escalate it. Talk yourself out of it. Move away safely, safely, safely. Move away. And imminence, the person must be on the verge of killing you or your loved ones, seriously injuring you. There is not another way out. Imminently, it is going to happen now. Reasonableness will someone else what would have someone else would have done in the same situation would have been. And then also the last one is proportionality. You can't kill someone uh, with a firearm if he just wanted to scold you. Uh, I'm not going to, the focus is not on the elements of, uh, or the doctrine itself. You can read on it, about it on the internet. It is very interesting. 
it helps you yourself in your own understanding it helps you if you read about a shooting incident if you just follow these easy member principles innocence avoidance imminence reasonables and proportionality you just judge in, in case you read about a shooting because people are automatically by default you are charged with murder and then they will investigate it if you're innocent well or then you find out but these uh, it gives you good understanding so um thank you very much for watching this video i hope it will help you to better understand our country's laws to prepare yourself for an emergency in the situation to also protect the lives not only of yourself but also of other people because everyone's right has a right to a li life and then also to save you all the unnecessary hassles and worries if there is a, a, an incident uh, that could have been avoided thank you very much for watching this video we love constructive comments and criticism please like and share this video